Hi all, welcome to my lesson for Light and Dark by Matthew Hensley. This is from Classical Guitar for Young People. Now this solo is going to involve a few different techniques and one of the first ones that you're going to have to do is a slur. So hopefully this isn't your first time playing slurs, but one thing to keep in mind as you're playing is you want to make sure that that rhythm is very even. One thing I hear a lot with slurs is this. When you're trying to sound like this. And so if the rhythm isn't even, it's just going to sound off. Slurs should be smooth and nice, and they don't change the rhythm as it's written in the piece. So keep this in mind at the beginning of the piece where you have these slurs. That if you took those slurs out of the music, it would just have the same rhythm. And so just imagine it without the slurs and then put them in. Be really careful about the rhythm. Same thing with the last line. And at the end of the second line, measure nine. With those, you want all those to be nice and even, okay? All right, now another thing to keep in mind with this is when you get into the main section of the piece, so starting with measure four, five and continuing on all the way to measure 20, you have a lot of bass notes and all these bass notes need to sustain for the whole measure. So take this first measure uh, with bass notes, measure five. We need to hear that E the whole time. And same thing here with D. And then it'll be a little harder here with C because now we have to keep that left hand down. So really be careful with that the entire time, okay? Now, let's just talk about some of the details of this piece. I'm going to play through the whole thing. Um, I won't take the repeat, but I'm going to play through the whole thing, and I'm just going to talk about what I like to do. So in this first line, the key is to not have any silence. There's always notes, and that can be achieved by timing the sure that you bring out those B's, that those are louder, and now it'll be E, and those G's are kind of in the background. Same thing here. Now we can hang on to that for just a second there. Now when we get to this line, the melody becomes a bit more complicated because we have this thing, listen to this, we have B. B, C, D, 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 E. We have that going on with everything else. So you want to make sure that that really gets brought out. And now we're loud, forte. Make sure those bass notes sustain. Now it's the first string that has the melody that needs to get brought out. Now this next measure here, this is one of my favorite parts of the piece. It, it reaches this nice ending of the, of the phrase, and you can really have a nice little crescendo into the C's and day crescendo on the B's. And just pause there for a second. So I'm going to start that line over. Forte. Really bring out first string melody, sustaining the bass notes. And then go on. Pretty much a repeat here. And you get a little ponticello here. Play closer to the bridge. That's sort of a funky measure. I'll play that line one more time. there too and pause and then you get into this last line with all these slurs make sure they're even and 
a slight retardando at the end. That harmonic ending there. I like to use my pinky, but you could also use your ring finger or your middle finger for that matter. I would probably not use the index finger. Really whatever finger is gonna do it. Also make sure that it's index, middle, and ring playing here. So this is kind of a tough piece. There's a lot of really good music, a lot of dynamics that's very important. Try to follow the crescendos as they're written in the piece and the day crescendos as well. And try to figure out on your own which parts are the light and which parts are the dark. And uh, that's sort of an interesting thing to try to determine about this piece. I love asking my students, they'll there, I get a lot of different opinions there, so tell me what you think. All right, I think you're ready to go on this one. Thanks for listening to my lesson on light and dark.